In this video, we're going to get started with the adding and subtracting polynomials free worksheet on the CUDA software website under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab. I'm going to split this up into three videos, doing 10 problems in each video. So in this video, we're going to do the first 10 problems. Our directions are to simplify each expression. In order to simplify, we're going to have to combine like terms. Now we've combined like terms in previous videos, but never with polynomials to a certain degree. So an important note to remember is that in order to combine like terms, the exponents have to be equivalent. So for number one, this 5p squared can be combined with 2p squared. And then we have the single term or constant of negative 3, because we're subtracting a 3, and then negative 3p cubed, since that is also subtracted. And neither of those can be combined with a similar term. So we're going to write this as negative 3p cubed plus our 5p squared plus 2p squared, so that's 5 plus 2, which is 7p squared, and then finally subtracting that 3. So negative 3p cubed plus 7p squared minus 3 is the answer and number 1. A rule of thumb when writing a polynomial is to write it with the greatest exponent towards the left and then going in descending order as you go to the right. So we have our p cubed, then our p squared, then if we had a single p, we would put that in, and then the constant. Let's move on to number two. Now we know that addition is commutative, meaning that the order that we add terms in doesn't matter. However, subtracting the 3a squared minus 4a cubed is the same as adding a negative 3a squared minus 4a cubed. And if we're adding a negative of that, that means that this can be written, rewritten as a cubed plus negative 2a squared plus, distributing that negative, negative 3a squared plus, distributing that negative again, a 4a cubed. So since this term is negative, or we're subtracting that positive, the 3a squared becomes negative and the 4a cubed becomes positive. Now let's go ahead and combine our like terms. We can combine the a cubed with the 4a cubed, and we can also combine the negative 2a squared with the negative 3a squared, since the exponents are similar. a cubed plus 4a cubed is like 1a cubed plus 4a cubed, which will give us 5a cubed, and then negative 2a squared plus negative 3a squared equals negative 5a squared. And since we're adding a negative, that's the same as subtracting a positive. So the answer for number two is 5a cubed minus 5a squared. In number three, it's all addition, so we don't have to worry about distributing a negative. Our similar terms, we have two constants, a four and a two, and we have two in cubes. We have two times into the three and five times into the three. So combining those first, we'll get seven in cubed plus four plus two is six. Seven in cubed plus six is the answer in number three. Moving on to number four, we are subtracting terms. And remember, subtracting is the same as adding the negative. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative right away. I'll rewrite this as 4n plus a negative 3n cubed plus a negative 3n cubed again plus a negative 4n. Now combining like terms, I have a positive 4n and a negative 4n, and I also have a negative 3n cubed and another negative 3n cubed. Combining the negative 3n cubes first, negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6, so I'll have negative 6 in to the third, and then 4n plus negative 4n is 0. So my final answer for number 4 is negative 6n cubed. And number 5, again, I'm going to add the negative and then distribute that. So it's going to be 3a squared plus 1 plus negative 4 plus negative 2a squared. And now you can see that combining like terms, I have 3a squared and a negative 2a squared, and I have two constants, 1 and negative 4. Combining those, 3a squared 
plus a negative 2a squared will be a positive 1a squared, which is simply a squared, and then a positive 1 plus a negative 4 will leave me with a negative 3, and when you add a negative, it's the same as subtracting that positive. So a squared minus 3 is the answer in number 5. Number 6, again, I want to distribute that negative 1. So I'm going to have 4r cubed plus 3r to the 4th plus a negative r to the 4th plus a positive 5r cubed. Combining like terms, I have two terms with r cubed, and I also have two terms with r to the fourth. An exponent of 4 is greater than 3, so I'm going to write that term first. 3 r to the fourth minus r to the fourth is 2 r to the fourth. And then we have 4 r cubed plus 5 r cubed, which is 9 r cubed. So 2 r to the fourth plus 9 r to the third. Moving on to number 7, again, we're adding a negative 5a plus 3. So we're going to have to distribute that negative to the 5a and to the 3. So we'll have 5a plus 4 plus a negative 5a plus a negative 3. Combining like terms, we have to combine the 5a together, and we're going to have to combine the constant together. 5a plus a negative 5a is 5a minus 5a, which is 0, so these will cancel out. And then we'll have 4 plus a negative 3, which is the same as 4 minus 3, which is a positive 1. So simplifying this expression, we get a solution of 1. In number 8, again, I'm going to start by distributing that negative. And you don't have to do that, but it makes it easier to remember whether you're adding or subtracting those terms. So I'm going to say 3x to the 4th plus a negative 3x plus a negative 3x plus a positive, since a negative times a negative is positive, 3x to the 4th. Now combining like terms, I have 3x to the 4th and I have another 3x to the 4th. I have negative 3x and a negative 3x. So I have two terms where the exponent is 4 and I have two terms where the exponent is 1. Doing the exponent of 4 first, I'll do 3x to the 4th plus 3x to the 4th, which is 6x to the 4th. And then I'm adding a negative 3x plus a negative 3x, which is a negative 6x. But we know that when we're adding a negative, it's the same as subtracting that positive. So 6x to the 4th minus 6x for number 8. And number 9, for combining like terms, we're going to combine the negative 4k to the 4th and the negative 3k to the 4th. We're then going to combine the constant of 14 with the constant of 8. And we also are now going to combine this 3k squared with the other k squared. Starting with the greatest exponent value, the 4. We're going to combine negative 4k to the 4th and negative 3k to the 4th to get negative 7k to the 4th, since negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 7. Then we're going to combine the next greatest exponent, which is 2. So 3k squared minus 14k squared is going to be subtracting 11k squared. So negative 7k to the 4th minus 11k squared, since 3k squared plus negative 14k squared is negative 11k squared. And lastly, we're going to combine the constant. 14 plus a negative 8 is going to give us a positive 6. So 14 minus 8 equals 6, so we're adding that 6. Negative 7k to the 4th minus 11k squared plus 6 is the answer in number 9. Lastly, for this video, we're going to do number 10. I'm going to start by distributing that negative. So the negative gets distributed to the negative 6n to the 4th, minus 3n, and minus 8n to the 5th. Rewriting this, I'll have 3 plus negative 6n to the 5th, plus negative 8n to the 4th, plus a positive 
6 n to the fourth plus a positive 3 n plus a positive 8 n to the fifth. Combining like terms, I only have one constant. I have two terms with n to the fifth. I have two terms with n to the fourth. And again, I have a single term with n to the first. So combining n to the fifth to start, since that's the greatest exponent value, negative 6 n to the fifth plus 8 n to the fifth is a positive 2 n to the fifth. Now I'm going to combine my n to the fourths. I have negative 8 n to the fourth plus 6 n to the fourth, which is going to be a negative 2 n to the fourth. So I'm subtracting 2 n to the fourth. Next, I will just add the 3 n, since there's no other term to combine with that, and then add the constant of 3. So my final answer for number 10 is 2 n to the fifth minus 2 n to the fourth plus 3 n plus 3. And remember, all likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated, so go ahead and feel free to do that now. And if you have any questions, comment below. Continue on to the next video where I'll do numbers 11 through 20.